Hi, I'm Nicole Romanoff. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you a new feature in Capture One. This is a feature that I feel like is very innovative. I've never seen a tool like this in another photo editing program, and I'm excited to talk about it with you here today. The tool that I'm gonna be talking about today is called Match Look. Now, this is something that was just released with the latest update, Capture One 16.5. So if you haven't updated your Capture One, this might be a good opportunity to do it to make sure that you have the new feature installed in your Capture One program. So we're just gonna take a look at it here. So you're gonna find the Match Look tool under the adjustments tab. Matchlook is a very, very uh, user-friendly tool. Um, it's something that's really sped up my workflow and I've just learned so much from using it. So what's cool about Matchlook is that it doesn't have to be your own image. You can download images off of the internet. Again, uh, the file types, it can be a variety of file types. It could be a PNG, it could be a JPEG, a TIFF, any supported file type in Capture One. So I'm going to use this, I'm gonna drag this uh, reference image into the match look to see how that's going to, to look on um, this particular image here. So once that image is dragged into this tool, um, all you have to do is click hit apply and it's going to analyze that reference image and make the adjustments on the current image that you're working on. If you notice, this looks like a bit too heavy-handed. And if that's the case, there's this impact slider that you can reduce the impact and then run it again, and it will uh, reanalyze and reapply those settings. So even there, um, that seems like a bit too much for me, so I would back it off even more and apply it. And uh, then I would probably go down and take a look at what's actually happening to the image. So if you look under the exposure, exposure is up, contrast is up, um, brightness is down. And you can even see what adjustments are taking place in the curves. Um, curves area as well. So that's just really neat to see and really interesting. Um, I never would have thought to, to make those particular adjustments, but maybe I will in future edits. So um, again, it's very much like an educational tool. So if I, if I were working on this image right now, I would even go in and, and make little tweaks to make it more my own. So I noticed that um, I would probably just lift the shadows just a touch, maybe a little bit less. Um, and then the highlights, I would maybe just bring them down a little bit as well. Um, so you can make your own adjustments, which is really, really neat. Another thing you can do is you can add it as a preset. So you'll go up to the Match Look tab and you can save as custom preset. I'm going to call this Match Look to and save it and then if you want you can apply it to this particular um, image in which case you would go to the match look tab you'll find it there you won't actually find it under your styles you'll find it under match look and then you'll select match look to and it will apply the settings. Another thing is you can apply it as a layer. So if we go back to um, the Match Look tab, we are going to click Apply as New Layer. And then if you notice, Match Look is up here, and then you can play with the Opacity slider to back it off um, to whatever you like. You can also apply it to a batch of images. If you see here, you'll just click apply and it's going to um, normalize. So it's going to um, make the exposure and the white balance similar to uh, the reference image as well. That's another really quick way to edit your images. 
Another thing you can do too is you can also use um, images as reference. So for example, this one here is selected and you can use selected variant and then um, I'm just going to reset that there and then you can hit apply and it will make the adjustment based off of one of the images that you already have in open in your session. It's really fun to play around and see the different kind of looks that you can get with a certain image. You can also take a black and white uh, reference image and apply it um, to a color image. It doesn't necessarily have to be a portrait image for a portrait um, image that you're editing or landscape to landscape. You can also use several images as reference and then it will create a weighted average and apply that to your to your image. So that's also something really interesting that you can play around with. Might be good for uh, if you're editing a wedding or something like that. That's it for today. Thank you so much. If you have any questions, make sure to comment below. I'm more than happy to help. If you liked this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe for more tips, tutorials, and inspiration. See you next time.